out here on the church property uh, in the North 40. Um, check it out. I uh, just got a just got an open field. Just got an open field. Nothing here. Uh, several years ago, we built our second unit building about oh more than 20 years ago now, and um, we took dirt out of this area to have to build up the pad site for the new building. Well, it left a depressed area here, two to, two to three feet lower than where I'm standing now. And we had a, a, an offer from a friend. They were doing some heavy construction work by the Joe Pool Lake. And the offer was to bring not just clean fill, but, but good topsoil in. And they filled up this whole thing. Multiple, multiple loads, took about two weeks to complete. Uh, they brought in the heavy equipment, they finished it out. It was fantastic and awesome. Uh, it was suggested that if, we, that if we had had to pay for those services, uh, both the dirt and the excavation, it would have been in excess of $100,000, and that was over 20 years ago. The next springtime, there was this amazing, beautiful stand of sunflowers in this field. It was absolutely fantastic. It was totally thick. Some of the flowers were above my head. Uh, some fella that was supposed to mow the neighbor's property wandered onto ours with a tractor and a brush hog, and mowed all those sunflowers down. Uh, I was really, really upset. Um, and because of the fact that he mowed them before they went to seed. So guess what? We don't have a single sunflower out here right now. These blue bonnets that are in this field, if you don't wait until they go to seed before you mow them, you won't have blue bonnets next year. The point of the Vesper is the word wait, W-A-I-T, wait. Over a hundred times in the Bible, Bible says wait. In fact, wait patiently on the Lord. Um, to wait is to just stay where you are or take no further action until an appointed time. Uh, the greatest wait promise I know is in Acts chapter 1. Wait for the promise of the Father, the Holy Spirit. And Jesus says you'll receive power. Uh, some things are just worth waiting on. And when you're supposed to wait, there's just no substitute for wait. So I pray for you. That these days, whatever they may hold for you, would not be lost. You would find purpose in them. You would wait patiently and trust God for a promised good outcome. Sometimes you just have to wait and wait for the blessing of God. Our lives are kind of like these flowers. If you just mow them too soon, they won't come up next year. Some things you just have to wait upon. Ponder it, reflect upon it and ask God to help you wait patiently. Hope you've had a wonderful day. God bless you. Have a good evening.